everybody, Rich Lang with Prep U, uh, coming to you on a beautiful Tuesday. And, well, if it's Tuesday, it must be Prepper's Tip of the Week. And we've got an interesting one. This is Paracord. Um, a lot of people have questions about, you know, buying Paracord, how much cord, Paracord do they need. And, you know, it, it's obviously it's personal preference, but it depends on where you're going to carry it. Uh, I have a school bag. Uh, that I carry about 25 feet of paracord and that all goes back to the Alice training that we have and what that's basically going to be used for is if I have to with a classroom of students if I've got to secure a door the paracord works great and I'm talking 750 pound paracord you can get all different kinds um, I prefer the stuff made in America but I prefer everything that's made in America it's just me uh, and then cut it burn the end so the outside layer does not come loose from the inside layer. Uh, but uh, about 25 feet in my school bag, in my bag for the range, I've got probably another 25 feet. But in my bug out bags, what I do is I like 50 foot sections. Uh, and so what I do is this was 200 feet of 750 pound US made paracord. Um, about a hundred left on here. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I do. The biggest problem with paracord is buying it this big and then reducing it. How do you store it? How do you make sure that it doesn't become, when you unravel it, a, a giant mess? You know, a big like, bird's nest or whatever. Um, you can't get paracords other ways. Obviously, nice to have with you. This is just a paracord bracelet which is pretty cool. I've got another one that actually has a um, compass on it, which is kind of cool, and it does work. It's, it's, a, it's a decent compass. It's got a real nice snap to it. Uh, this is a paracord grenade, they call it, and it's got, you know, about, I don't know, 25 feet also in it, and it can clip right on your bag. It's really nice to have. Uh, you could put this on your keys, too, so you've got paracord at all times. But like I said, I like 50 foot. 50 foot sections and I'll show you what I do I actually built something after looking on the internet um, this was a while ago on how to wrap paracord I came up with a very cool device what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the screen uh, the camera down so you can see what I'm working with here um, it's kind of interesting I think you can see that what I did is this is just a regular um, I think it's it's 12 inches wide, drilled a couple one inch holes, and these are just two old, I think, broom handles that I, like I said, drilled out a couple one inch holes. These are slightly bigger, so you can just really grab them in there and um, put it that way. Let me turn it up like this, and you can see there that it's just not wrapped around. It's crossed over. I don't know why, but doing it this way, has a less tendency that when you uncoil this, which is like this, when you uncoil it, it does not get into a big bird's nest and you can actually either just drop it to the ground or throw it out. You know, like if you're gonna um, hang a clothesline or a line for a, uh, a tarp for a tent or, or uh, whatever, it's a rocky ground and the tent that you have just doesn't, um, you can't stake it into the ground too well. You can just throw it and it just uncoils. It uncoils perfectly. I don't know the physics behind it. I just don't know. Um, but so all you do is you just kind of go back and forth. Now you can see I've got a, oh, probably another 25 feet. And here's the key. Throw that out. Okay. Make it out. And as you're doing this, hold this against your knees. But what you want to make sure is you don't want this to twist. So you may have to go back and shake it out a little bit, you know, to get it out. But you're just going to go back and forth. Don't pull too hard because these things will collapse in and then you aren't going to have a purely good uh, length. You know, it'll be shorter at the top than it is at the bottom. But you're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to take this off at this point just to show you. So... You have a little bit left over here, a little bit left over on the other side. So you're just going to work this up. 
All right, keep it tight, as tight as you can. Work it up, and then you're gonna grab it in the middle and continue up with it. Like, sorry, it's caught on that. There we go. So then it comes up, and you can just fix whatever gets caught on here. So then you have a nice little bundle. And really, if you just keep it tight, um, this I'll show you what I'm going to use that for. But you're going to come to the other side, and I don't have a loose end. But you're going to need about eight feet to do what I'm doing. All right. So you're going to come around, and then you're going to go back over that to secure it, and then come out around again. And all you're going to do is keep this nice and tight. And I'm just not, I'm not doing it super tight, but you can see how it gets, you know, then it's going to go all the way to the end. It'll make a nice tight uh, little bundle uh, and it ends up like this. That's like I said, that's 50 feet of paracord. Um, okay. So on this, uh, to get it open, uh, you're just going to look for the obviously the open end. There's an open end right here on one side, and then you have the other end over here. And that's just uh, set up. You can just pull that out. But this is just put in there like so. And it's just going to, you can just pull this out, and it just slowly unreal, unrolls to the other end. Now... What I have on the other end is just a, you know, a basic loop, all right? And I know what you're saying is, well, what if I need more than 50 feet? Well, have several of these in your bug out bag, your go bag, your get home bag, because um, this stuff is r really nice. Well, what you're going to do is, let's say, so you have another 50 foot. You're going to take this loop. All right, you can see how it's just, and how that loop is made. Let me show you real quick here. Is you just take this, I hope you can see that. Just make a loop and you just come back on itself. And you just knot it up. You always want to clean up your knot. Always make sure that it's clean so uh, you don't want it wrapped around. It just makes it stronger. So that's how I've made that little knot. But how you're going to attach this is you're going to have, and I have one end like that, like this, and one end not like that. So what you're going to do is take this section here, and you're going to come back on yourself, and let's see if I can do this the first time. Basically, if you can see that knot, um, let's see, it's a figure eight, kind of a figure eight knot. You can see that. And you're going to loosen that up. You know, not, don't have it too big, you know, just like so. And this is going to go through that loop. I, bet, I don't even know if you guys can see that. So it's just going to go through the original loop. And then you're just going to follow through the other, making sure you completely follow through, around, back through, and you've got a double figure eight. You're gonna clean that up. So now you've got the two together. You can see how the two are together right there, I think. All right, and that is nice and strong. It is not going anywhere, but that's how I secure the two. Having one of your 50 foot, have just a general loop knot, and then the other one an open knot, and you can do a follow through figure eight, and that's nice and strong, and now you've got 100 feet, all right? So you've got 100 feet. But the nice thing about this is, this is the end, this is the longer 50 foot section here. And to throw it, you're not going to be able to see this unless I turn it. I don't know. But when you throw it, it just, let's see if I can do this. I don't know. Well, anyhow, take my word for it. I actually threw it past my desk 
into the laundry room. There's not a single. And you can see as I pull this back, because it was twisted, there's not a single fishnet, or not fishnet, the bird's nest in it, and there's the other end. That's the open end. So basically, I threw it 30 feet, you know, 50 foot of, of 30 feet, and it just uncoiled perfectly. So, and then here's a look, here's the board that we made, and remember, we're just gonna go, you know, just a figure eight back and forth. But that's, that's paracord. You should always have paracord with you. Um, I'm gonna actually take this 100 foot and make two more 50s out of it, and I'll probably have uh, 200 foot in my bug out bag, uh, 50 foot in my get home bag. Uh, I like to have it around the house. I keep some in the garage. Um, some of the other stuff, like I said, you know, I keep 25 foot in the, uh, again, with the loop, on one end uh, because that can go around door handles so make it big enough you know and then nice and tight so it doesn't slip off uh, these 25 feet or I have 25 feet in my uh, school bag and another 25 feet in the bag that I carry to the range uh, in my two um, bags in or boxes in the car with all the vehicle stuff uh, there's two uh, 50 foot sections in there basically put together the same way and you know what? I find these, I get these all over the place. I, I just end up with them. I think they're cute. Um, and you, you know, you can get different school colors and this is obviously military colors. I keep these on the outside of my bags. They're a little, little bit shorter, but they're nicer to have. Uh, so that's paracord. That's your um, tip of the week. I hope that helps you out. Um, get the, like I said, get the good stuff. 700, at least 750 pounds made in the U.S. You know, uh, there's a lot of companies that make it. Just go on Amazon. It's 200 feet in. It was around 20 bucks, which really isn't bad when you think about it. Um, and again, you, I don't know if you can see that, but the end, I burned the end. So the outer layer adheres to the inner layer. So that's it. Uh, hope that helps you guys out. Um, and that's what this is all, this is all, what this is all about. Duh. Um, so that's it. So thank you for watching. Um, thank you subscribers. Appreciate it. Uh, over 1,200. That's awesome. And keep bringing those comments in because you might get a shout out after you, uh, on your comment. It doesn't have to be funny or serious or suggestive. If it's a great suggestion, it's going to be on a shout out on a Sunday. So anyhow, as we always say, when we finish this, be aware of your surroundings. Now more than ever, you need to be aware of your surroundings. Also, have at least 72 hours of food in your uh, go bag in case you have to, you know, bug out or evacuate. Have that with you. And that's, you know, 72 hours per person and stuff for these guys here. Um, also, prep like you. Oh, and 30 days, at least 30 days, if not 60 days of food uh, in your uh, bug out location. Not bug out location. But yeah, bug out location should also have food there. But uh, for shelter in place. And please, prep like your life depends on it because it really does. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next week.